Hello everybody and welcome to some fantastic news about character creation in Farming Simulator 22. I have been very excited to get this video out because I am very happy about this new feature. Uh, so in FS19 you could choose from a few presets but it was a bit limited and you couldn't really change that much about the character itself. Whereas in 22 this is totally different. So let's get straight into the blog. You can see already we have three different characters here which have been created and you can again it's not just like you, you just choose one of these people as a as a pre-made character you can change so many different things about them so the blog starts off talking about the uh, crossplay which I have actually done a separate video on anyway so if you want to see more about that please do check out my previous blog video so we'll start here we added a lot of new character features and items choose your hairstyle including a beard or mustache between various clothing items from top to bottom and even authentic full body outfits from your favorite brands. Here's the complete list of options. So you have to choose your character model, hairstyles, beards, mustaches, outfits, tops, bottoms, footwear, headgear, gloves, and glasses. So you then create your character starting with the model itself. And it looks like we have 12 models to choose from. Of course, that might be a minimum uh, I can't see if you can scroll. Maybe you can scroll and get a load more. Uh, but yeah, certainly at least 12. And it says a name there as well. Farmy Muck Farm Face. Okay. Uh, we're also in a workshop. Very nice. See, we're in a workshop. Natural environment. And uh, yes, yeah, so how would you like your hair and what color? So it looks like we have 16. 16 hairstyles just here. And you can see the third one has been selected and you can see it on the character. Going down again, we have the hair color. Uh, so it looks like we do have some relatively natural colors there. Uh, nothing too crazy, no green and blue and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, it's still a nice selection. Pretty decent selection there. We have manly beards, each one as glorious as the next. Uh, okay, so yeah, you can see there we have seven. Seven beards, which you can choose from. Mustaches are a must-have for harvest season. Harvesting respect. Uh, yep, yeah, so again, we have six. Six mustaches to choose from, I should say there. Um, so very good to have that option as well. It's nice that it splits the beard and mustache as well. Uh, now choose an outfit and get into those comfy onesies. Right, okay, so you can see uh, we, have, we have selected an outfit. Uh, but it, it, yeah, there's again a really decent selection there and we have the standard ones and the branded ones So you can have uh, Class for example or Massey Ferguson and John Deere uh, Really good to see that you can have branded clothing You can put on tops and bottoms separately as well. Okay, so that really does uh, expand on the selection And they all look yeah, they all look like decent Clothes to choose from as well uh, this is definitely feeling much more like The Sims, which is what I was looking for. I thought it'd be fantastic to have this sort of thing. Um, and yeah, dream come true. Giants are doing it. It is definitely far better than uh, 19 for character creation. And uh, yeah, survival roleplay. That is going to be so much easier to make. Uh, yeah, and there's the bottoms. A decent selection of the trousers. Looks like we might even have some, uh, are they chainsaw trousers or are they just work trousers? I'm not too sure. Uh, but yep, yeah, a very good selection. Different kinds of footwear. Yes, there are rubber boots. Oh yes, very fitting. Farmer boots, there we go, the Wellingtons. Um, yep, yeah, so you can choose from, looks like steel toe cap boots, Wellingtons, we've got just standard shoes. I don't know much about clothing. I'm not into fashion or anything. Um, but you can see for yourself there what we can choose from. Very nice to see. Brilliant stuff. Uh, show your friends how professional you are at work. A hat is cool too, so there you go. Uh, actually, quite a lot of uh, hats. And yeah, we've got the helmets, we've got the visors, and the ear defenders for chainsawing and stuff. And it looks like we have um, a helmet for it, for an ATV. Yeah, so there are hats to suit many, many people there. The headgear. Gloves for the dirty work or just for style? Maybe both. And yes, again, I think probably some of those ones at the bottom there, those branded ones, are the chainsawing gloves. So we've got steel, 
and uh, other is it McCulloch I think it might be I'm viewing this on a low resolution image I'll put a much higher resolution image in the video so you should be able to see really clearly there um, and yes trying some on probably good for when doing chemical work or working with the animals fashionable glasses are always a welcome accessory pick yours so there you go glasses as well you could actually have glasses in FS19, but there was just one. You could only wear one type. Wear your favorite brands. On top of the generic clothes, there is also a set of branded outfits your character can wear. So if you're running a farming operation heavy on John Deere machinery, why not dress accordingly in green? Case IH, Class, Fent, Massey Ferguson, Vultra, and others are also represented with their authentic outfits. Thanks to Elton, our trusted partner for safety shoes, and Engelbert Strauss, specialised in workwear, the uh, safety of your farmer is guaranteed. Take a look. And there we go. We have four more characters. Well, the same character, actually, trying on different clothes. It really does show you what you can do. The more casual, all the way through to when you have to wear your safety gear for chainsawing. And we have more here. As you can see, they're all branded, really looking good. Fantastic. You can see more of the workshop there in the background. I'm guessing this actually is, is maybe this is like the store. You know, when uh, you're in the store for FS19, uh, where the machines are. Uh, this might be a place where which is sort of out of the map. It's not actually in the map. It takes you out of the map to... Um, to view your character, but it's nicely done. I like that it's not just a blank background. A couple more example characters. Here are some additional characters showing you the possibilities. Also, if you want to change your character design later on, maybe get a new haircut or new pants. You can do that back at the farmhouse. Just open the wardrobe and change. Oh, now that's very good. Yep, not being forced to stick with your starting clothing style. You have to change stuff as you go. That's a very good idea. And we even have the high visibility vest there. And somebody kitted out to be on the ATVs. And then we have the final four examples. And I'm, yeah, I must just point out that that is just a, a few of the examples. You saw for yourself how many different configurations you can have. And that actually concludes this blog. So I am extremely happy about this. I think it's just amazing uh, that we can that we can do this now. It is going to make survival. I don't want to keep going on about survival, Robert, but it's going to make the creation of that much easier, and it's going to really expand on the series as well. I can't wait to start it. Um, this is why I stopped it for nineteen because it is it was just it was too repetitive. I, I couldn't add more characters because everybody looked the same, and it's just not convincing. Uh, so this is good and. I, I really am very happy with the idea of starting Survivor Roleplay in 22 in the 1990s because this means that we can have Dennis in it as an actual character that you can see but we don't have to worry about him being really old or anything. Well, he was never actually that, that old but, you know, 20 years younger, about a 40-year-old. Would, would he be 40? He would actually, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Right. Uh, in fact, maybe he's late 30s. What a scary thought. <laughs> Okay, well, there we go. Fantastic news. Character creation in FS22. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.